this session on data sets in Photoshop. Uh, we're going to go over just the basic usage of data sets. And uh, in this example, we're going to use a score graphic. And I'll show you what I did previously versus uh, using data sets. So here you can see three artboards that I have up. Within each artboard, you know, you have your scoreboard and the actual image, right? So that applies to all three of these artboards. And, you know, if you take a deep dive into each quarter, so you got first quarter, half, third, fourth, final, and this is set up for football. So within that scoreboard, you have the points, you have the matchup, uh, this indicator base, and the actual the uh, indicator light. Um, and that's pretty much how all of the scoreboards are laid out. Okay, so we have the actual um, points and the team logo, right? So knowing how this layer structure is laid out, um, what you can do is either deselect and go to image variables, data sets, or if you want to actually define this right here and start there, you can select that layer, go to variables and define. And I'll just do uh, visibility. Since it's a text layer, you can change the, you can toggle the visibility of the layer. Um, you can also change the text of it. So right now it says 10. And I'll just create a variable and just call it score. All right. But I already had this set up. And I'll just type in score opponent. And I'll turn off visibility because I don't need to adjust that. Because it's in my first group and that has a variable to turn off the visibility. So with that, you can see it has this number 11 layers. That just tells you that this variable is applied to a layer 11 layers. And so you see this asterisk here. If I open up my drop down menu, this gives you all the layers within your Photoshop file. And if you see one with an asterisk on it, that means it has a variable applied to it. So you can see our first quarter has a variable applied to it. So how this works is once you set your variables, you'll have a list of them and it tells you what values that you're able to change. So um, you can turn this on or off. So if I do invisible, you'll see everything goes away for these two. If I turn, um, let's say half, you make that visible. You can see my half turns on, but I noticed I did not create a variable for my half sponsor. So this would be your sponsor. So I'm going to go to apply and okay. And let's see where that is. So here, you know, you don't have to have items to turn on in the same group, the same layer. So I did this to show you guys that. So this layer I have on for half, and then there's another uh, group here for the sponsor. So if I turn that on or off, you can see that. So it wasn't working previously. So let's select that. Go to image variables, define, and I'm going to turn on visibility and I'm going to select quarter to half. And you can see the other layers that it's already applied to. So now if I go to, let's say if I turn this off and I go to third, to make that visible. You can see now my third quarter is displayed. And just to show you my variable was applied, I'll go to visible and now you can see my sponsor is now activated. All right, so I'll go to invisible, show you what the fourth would be like and show you what the final would be like. So we have a sponsor on final and you know, let's just change the score. So you can change the score. Let's say it is 17 home, 11 for our opponent. And you can see it uh, immediately change and it will update on all the other quarters. Okay. And as well as down here. So this only has uh, the final score. So the only thing that will change here is the uh, scores. So with that said, you can press OK. And then all your layers will be back to, you know, what you set them up in the scoreboard. And just really quick, how you get back to your data set, you can go to image variables, 
uh, data sets, but I created a an action. So once I created that, I just turned on button mode. So this is it. Basically, all you do is go to a uh, new action and you just do test. Let's just say this is the data set. And you can do a record and you would need to, since it's in the menu, you would go to insert menu item and then go to image variables data sets. And you can see it set itself in here. Press OK and hit stop. And so what you can do is double click on that and you can create a color. So let's just do yellow. And for me, this helps um, identifying it. And so you can see it right, it's right here. And if I click it, it'll you know activate my uh, scoreboard. Um, so we have our third quarter visible. Let's just turn that off really quick and just go back to half, make it visible. Press um, apply. Make sure you press um, apply before you press OK. And it will activate your layers, right? And so how I use this for game day is I will create an extension .jpg. So I'm going to make my JPEGs. All right. And then I will turn on file, generate image assets. And once you do that, you'll see this folder pop up. And let me zoom in and you'll see our exported artboards. And now sometimes you might have an issue with your image exporting incorrectly. So if I preview that, it's wrong. Um, sometimes you may need to just move your artboard over. Um, pretty sure it's just a bug. And so there you go. So that's pretty much how I work on game day. So I'd have my um, data set open, um, you know, scoreboard. Um, oh, we moved into the third quarter. All right, boom. Visible, take this one off. Uh, what's the score? Oh, okay, 21. Um, 15, all right, cool. Apply, hit okay. And over here on the right, you can see that change immediately. And I'll just drag this into Slack, just like that. So you guys may also wonder how I get my image. I can just I turn that into a smart object. Okay, and I can just drag my image in. You know, this one's a little small, so I'll drag that in, boom. Hit save, and I have a um, camera off filter applied to this, um, you know, to knock out certain colors, so, um, and keep some consistency, so I'll just drag that up on, on top. Hit save, and you can see that my image updated. And so if I needed to, I can just adjust this. All right, so that's pretty much how I use my data sets. I'm gonna go into like why I changed this versus um, my older version. So um, this was an older uh, file, I, uh, master file I set up. And the image is a smart image. So basically what I would have open is this. I would have open my score. No, actually I have my smart objects here. Uh, quicker. So I'd have that open. I'd have my home score open. I'd have my quarter open. And what else? My sponsor. I believe that's it. All right. And so I'll do window, arrange, uh, six up. And so this would be my setup. And as you can see, it's a lot more going on here. Um, you know, if I if I need to change the, the score, I can double click, you know, 25, hit save. You'll see that update. And the same thing with this. Um, let's say, you know, whatever, 23. And I will update as well. And then I'll need to change my quarter. So if we're going into the third, save that. And then uh, sponsor. So for the sponsor, it changes. So we have a different sponsor for half and then a different sponsor for final. So I hit save and you'll see it changed. All right, so that was a little cumbersome. Uh, you can do the same thing, um, you know, with the exports. Um, so that would just immediately, you know, save the file out similar to this and I should just drag it into uh, Slack. So, you know, as you can see, we have either this method um, or we have this method. And I think this is a lot faster. Um, only thing, 
you need to um, actually open up as a smart object is my image and that's it. So yeah, that's pretty much why I switched over to data sets and just, you know, I just wanted to share with you guys, you know, maybe this might work for you. Maybe you picked up some things from this video or maybe this helped enlighten you on how to use data sets in the first place. So that ends this session. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section, shoot me a DM, whatever it is, um, I'll be sure to help you out. All right, peace.